Well, today we've got a little fun story, just a short one. It's about tops. Now, some of you might be thinking, what in the heck does top stand for? Well, I'm just letting you know, it's been burned into my mind. I will never, ever forget what top stands for. Top stands for take off pounds sensibly. Sounds good, doesn't it? Well, long story short, from birth, I've been overweight. Always had a problem with weight. Always been dealing with it. And my dear sweet mom always was trying to help me. And she had heard about a special group that had opened up, a good kind of group that you got in and supported each other. It was called TOPS. So she talked to me about it, and we both decided we'd join. Well, I was eight years old. You know, you want to nip it in the bud when you got an eating problem. So we started off to TOPS. We went in. Mom was right by my side, stepped up on the scale, and they weighed how much I how how much I weighed and wrote it down. And then we went in and sat in the room, waited. Other people were coming in and going. It was all ladies. Now, at eight years old, they all seemed pretty darn old to me. They were probably thirty or maybe even forty years old. At eight, that's almost dead. Well, we went through the meeting and everything was fine. The lady comes in, she starts saying who lost how much, and then we clap for the person that loses the most. And then she talks about who gained weight. Ooh. Now, gaining weight was bad. But if you were the one that gained the most weight, that was really bad because out came the great big huge pink piggy pants. Now these were huge pants and on the very back had the little curly Q kind of piggy tail. The piggy pants. The pink piggy pants. The person that had gained the most weight that week her name was shouted out. She had to go in front of everybody, pull those pants on, cinch up that cinch. And then she had to repeat the top's statement. Oh, my heck. That scared the living bejeebies out of me. This was going to be the best weight reduction program I had ever taken part in. Well, we went home, and I'm telling you, that week, I didn't even dare eat. I was doing everything that I was supposed to do. Went back, was living in fear, stepped on the scale. Oh, yeah, you've lost weight. The next week, oh, yeah, you've lost week. You've lost weight this week, too. And the next week, and the next week, and the next week. I started getting comfortable thinking, oh, good. I'm on, I'm on a streak. I'm going to keep losing weight. Started relaxing a little bit. Found myself eating some things that I shouldn't have. But in my mind, I thought it was okay. So we went to Tops, went with my mom, went in, jumped up on the scale. <gasps> oh, Gil. Honey, you've gained weight. <gasps> she says, how much? I'm now in shock. I'm panicking. My mom weighs. She's okay. We go into the room to wait. The other ladies are walking in and coming in. I'm trying to look to see who looks scared. Just me. The lady comes in and she makes the announcement. Ooh, last weight, last weight. Ooh, guess who lost the most weight? Ooh. And then, uh-oh, so-and-so gained some weight. So-and-so gained some weight. My name hasn't been said yet. And then... And Gail Hustler, she gained the most weight this week. Come on up front, honey. I stand up. I go towards the front. Out come the huge pink piggy pants. I have to step into them. I have to cinch up that rope belt. I have to stand in front of all those old ladies. And then I have to say, I am an intelligent person. I can control 
my emotions and not let my emotions control me. Every time I am tempted to overeat in private, I will remember that my excess poundage is there for the entire world to see. What a fool I've been. Oink, oink, oink. Scarred for life? Oh, yeah. Piggy pants? Always a fear. I never was going to eat again. Yeah, right. That didn't happen. But a good story. Bye for now.